evening, my fine squires. What is good? As you guys can tell by the title, ooh, we might be buying a car today. We might be buying a car today. I'm pretty hyped. I wasn't even planning this, but you know how I go. Sometimes if I see something that I've been looking for, I'm like, man, I gotta get it now today right now so that's what we're doing today i'm running this as a solo trip real quick just boop boop so whenever i buy a car it's usually in la so we're gonna travel to la today i'm in a bit of a rush i already went to the bank got all the money everything like that so all that is settled now the rest of the part is just traveling to la meeting up with the dude making sure everything goes as planned because you know sometimes when money's involved it could get a little crazy so i gotta figure that situation out Make sure I'm good, make sure this is a safe transaction. And the plan is to leave with a brand new car today. So I should probably pack my bag real quick. You guys wanna help me pack my bag? Let's do it. Dun, 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 dun. I'm packing super light this trip because I plan on staying only a day, maybe two days max. So we got boxers, toiletry bag, Chanel blue, boom. And we need one t-shirt. Oh my goodness, I almost forgot my AirPods. Oh wait. I do not need that. David's gonna take me to the airport today, so shout out to David Got Kicks. Let's go. Got the yellow toes on feet today. One month early, crazy. Like I said, this was super last minute, so David's not going with me. He already has his plans for today. So I'm probably gonna link up with the homies in LA, but we gotta get there first. Yo, is that David Got Kicks? Wait, is that sneaker in the baby with the camera? What's up, gang? Hey. Gang, gang, gang. Thank you for taking me to the airport. It really means a lot to me. Yeah, I literally just woke up and you said, hey, take me to the airport because I just found a car that I wanna get. Oh, wait. They, they know, they know. Okay. But what do you think of uh, me going to purchase a car right now. I'm not like, surprised, you've done it before. It's always in LA though. And it's always last minute. It just happens. You you're, know? A, you're a spontaneous guy, so. I don't even think I told you guys about the Hawaii trip, but that Hawaii trip that either you guys are about to see or you already saw, we planned that a day before leaving. Literally a day before leaving. Not even 24 hours. Yeah, that's why things are a little hectic and we were just kind of like going with the flow and stuff, but. That's, that's just how it works sometimes. But right now we're on the way to San Jose. Oh shoot, I'm already driving to San Francisco, dude. Wait, what? My flight leaves at, at one. You told me SF. Wait, it's already one? Wait, where am I going? SF. Okay, wait, no, I forgot, I'm not going the right way. Oh right. my God, the wait. Jesus lighting. Let me fix this. Okay, there we he go. He has risen. There we go. Genesis 1, verse 6. He has risen. Let there be light. Matthew 25.6. <laughs> David got pray for me. This flight was so expensive, guys. $400. $400 to go to LA. Why are you flexing on us like that? Like, I'm, I'm not. I'm actually like doing the you, opposite. If you were a real person, you wouldn't have mentioned how expensive it is. Like, I'm just letting them know. Like, if like, you're going to donate money to people, you don't got to post it. What? <laughs> just the flight is about an hour long, and if we were to drive, it would be five hours. So I figured, you know what? Just doing a flight would be quicker, and it would guarantee that I get the car today, because I don't know if somebody else is gonna buy this car. This car is very, very hard to find in this condition and with this spec, so that's the reason. Crimea River. Damn. David got kicks is so cold these days. Yeah, the AC's not even on. Oh, f Yo! You made it! Of course we did! Family! <laughs> For you, Paul. Okay, Mom. I'll be good. Hope you packed enough underwear. I'll be good. You better be good. Alright. And if you're naughty, invite me. <laughs> okay. Yo! Hey, yo, fam! Hey, yo! Okay, bye. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, somebody saw that. <laughs> <laughs> Quick update, we just landed at LAX. It's a mess out here. We're about to go head over to check out the car. Oh my God, guys. I think that was the fastest deal I have ever done in car buying history. Oh my gosh, was, was the autofocus not on this whole time, bro? I'm so freaking stoked, guys. It looked good in pictures, but in person, this car is amazing. So let me just show you guys what it looks like first. I'm just gonna wing it because I'm so excited. Uh, 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 oh, yeah. 
Let's freaking go, baby. Okay, guys, this is the car. We're gonna do a quick little walk around. This one is a 2005 Lexus LS430, AKA one of the best cars ever made. And this one is in this like gunmetal gray color. I forget what the actual name of this color is, but look how freaking clean it looks. Homeboy washed it for me, did all that good stuff. I told him that I was flying from the Bay Area, so he was super respectful, you know, made sure everything was nice, filled up the gas for me, washed the car, and made sure everything was all good. So I really appreciate sellers that do that. That means a lot, because this was just somebody from Craigslist. This wasn't like, you know, a dealership or anything. But yeah, quick little walk around. Check this out, check this out. It already has some tint on there. Looks pretty dark already, but let me show you guys how clean the interior looks. So my old Lexus, we had beige interior. This one is all black. And if you guys have ever looked for this car, you probably know how hard it is to find something that's as clean as this. Like it literally looks pristine. Seats, no rips or anything. Everything looks amazing. Extra saucy. Look at that. No cracks on the dash. This one has 104,000 miles, which is pretty low for this car. A lot of them that I've seen are hitting 200 or 150-ish. So as long as you do your oil changes, your maintenance and all that, these cars last a very, very long time. And the cool part about this is that this car has Bluetooth connectivity. Before I used to have one that you tune in on the radio, like it's not really Bluetooth, but this one has the freaking Bluetooth, which is amazing. Let me show you the extra features that we got in here. Oscillating vents. You see that? You see how they're moving? Oscillating vents. Sunshade that goes over the mirror. Okay. This specific package is the, I forget what they call it, like the, the custom luxury package. So the entire roof is all Alcantara. This car has the radar, so you're able to set the distance if you want it to cruise and break for you whenever you're in traffic or something like that. It'll keep the car distance, which is pretty cool because my other car did not have that. And I didn't even know that was an option for the LS430. Again, this is in 2005. It had all this stuff. Navigation, the little thing right here to prevent anything from slipping. I can move this seat. Let's say I have a passenger and I want to give them a little bit more room, I can move this seat right here. We have automatic headrest. That's the rear seat right there. Dude, like this car is clean. Check this out. You guys see that? For the rear passengers, they have their own mirrors. I'm gonna jump in the back seat to give you guys an actual tour. So if you're in this car and you're getting driven, you're basically being chauffeured by the finest. If you're smoking in the back, you can hit your cigarettes in there. It's like an ashtray, pull it out dump it out whenever you're done pretty sick and then what I was showing you is if you want to check yourself out you guys got a mirror back here insane of course you have your air and then mine had an issue with the trunk this one has good struts in there so it holds up throws it up real nice because this trunk is super heavy but look how clean the trunk is. Just got my backpack in here, comes with all the stuff. There should be a spare under here. First aid kit, front license plate. Dude, it even has the wrapping still on that. What the? This is it right here. This is why I'm gonna be mobbing around for a little bit. This is gonna be the new daily because your boy was dailying the GTR and although it's the dream car and stuff, I'm not trying to put hella miles on it and I'm not trying to get it hella dirty because freaking Butters, her hair goes all over the place. I try to keep it clean, but man, when I'm like transporting Butters, she'd be licking the windows, getting fuzz all over the place, and that's just not the move. So something a little bit more simple like this is still fancy. Out of all my cars, I feel like the Lexus LS430 fits my personality the most. Like this car is me. I don't know how to explain it, but I identify with this car the most for whatever reason. Let me know in the comment section down below what car represents you. Because for me, it's the GTR and it's this car right here, LS430. Oh, and let's not forget, this option comes with headlight washers. I, my other one did not have headlight washers. That's crazy. And we have 
cooled seats and heated seats. Oh, and check this out. Even more bruv. Excuse me, my fine passenger. Oh, you, the sun's hitting your head? Hold on, sir. Hopefully that blocks the sun out for you. Oh, oh, you want some sun? You want some sun now? Okay, let me let me bring this down. Dude, come on, come on, son. I'm glad everything went smooth. It feels great to be in this car again, I'm telling you guys. I'm gonna be honest with you, I need to pee. So I'm gonna try to find a target or something around here because I don't even know where the hell I am. So I should probably get out of here. I've been recording in front of people's houses for the past like 30 minutes, so. I'm just gonna bounce out of here real quick. Just linked up with the homie, Mr. Grant Shady in the building. Dude, you keep getting taller, man. What can I say? Look at this guy. I don't, I don't think the camera does it justice. I'm like, what, like 6'5 now, 6'6? Six, six? Are you serious? Like, I mean, like on God? Me, yeah. Dude, look at this. What? Crazy. Insert, insert the picture when we met. Insert the picture right now. I was probably like right Boom. here. Boom. So there's this thing going on right now. I don't know what it's called, but it's some sort of like, like a festival kind of thing or what? I just heard it's like a block party and there's um, a lot of food vendors and street wear like clothing vendors. So who knows? We'll see. We're going to check it out. We're going to see what we can find. The homie Collins over there right now. We had to struggle to find parking, but I caught Grant. I was like, yo, that looks like Grant's car. And it was Grant. So we were able to get parking. And now we got to walk like 15 miles to get to this, this crazy ass place. What's going on guys? We're back in the bay now and man, the car ride was so smooth here, but before we could whip this around the bay area, you know I gotta hook it up with some tints. Now it does have tints on it already, but I think we could go a little bit darker. Okay, so we just pulled up to OJ Tint Studio. This is how the tint is looking right now. Keep in mind that we do have lights on the other side, so it's gonna look a little bit lighter, but um, we're gonna make the front basically 5%, and then on the rear we already have tint, but we're gonna throw a 5% tint on top of this. So the rear is gonna be like fully blacked out and then the front's gonna be uh, basically like what a 5% is gonna be. And we're gonna do the windshield a different day. But if you guys need tint, make sure to hit him up, OJ Tint Studio. I have his info down below in the description. If you guys are from the Bay Area, he will take care of you guys. This is just what everything looks like. Do a quick walk around doing everything back here it's gonna be like limo tent pretty much just a quick walk around he's gonna do his thing for me shout out to OJ tent studio alright guys we just got back from OJ tent studio and this is how the car looks tints before it definitely makes a huge difference so if you guys are interested again in hitting the homie up let him know that your boy sent you we basically did five percent tint all around and like i mentioned before we're gonna do the windshield a different day if you guys live in areas where it's super sunny or super hot tints make the biggest difference i'm telling you guys so shout out to omar once again i appreciate you the lexus is looking amazing <laughs> 